Yeah, good morning Willow here, still in the um, Victorian gold fields, doing a bit of scrub bashing just to sort of try and see if I can find a new spot. Um, and um, yeah, it's quite interesting, came across an outcrop of um, ironstone and quartz reef here, um, which I thought I'd show. Um, because it's um, that's sometimes where the gold sort of sheds off these sorts of places. I don't know if this is the actual reef, but you can see the quartz um, on the ironstone there. Anyway, I'll um, keep going, keep crashing through, see what I can find. Well, I'm off to another spot now, just having a little bit of a drive. Um, I found this spot yesterday afternoon and I thought I might come back and give it a go. Um, it's a bit scrubby, but I'm sort of... My objective actually is to try and jag a bigger piece of gold. Now, I know that that's wildly optimistic, but I think the best chance of finding it is if you um, get out um, hit areas which haven't been hit so hard um, which means you've got to suffer a bit of discomfort well I've just had a bite to eat for lunch and I've just come back out and just near the, where I've parked the car I've come across a slight noise I've dug the hole it's about sort of seven or eight centimeters deep and the targets out in the um, pile here I don't know what it is but we'll soon soon find out See if we can find it. Detectors. I've got the um, gain turned up a bit higher than usual. Detector doesn't like the camera much. I might swap the camera to the other hand. Now there seems to be some interference with it. It's annoying. Sometimes I've had to do quite a few manual tunes. I'll just balance it again. It seems to be in the middle of that pile just there. It's most annoying. It's breaking it very, very hard. I'll switch the um, video off and I'm going to um, um, retune the um, detector to take that noise out. I'll be back shortly. Okay, back again. Well, that's the target there. I've got a feeling it might be lead. Well, let's see if I can... No, it's gold. Gee whiz, that look like lead, but it's actually gold. Tiny little piece. I really like it when you see something new. I haven't seen a little creature like this which has camouflaged itself with sticks and is um, slowly moving. 
you can see it's sort of rocking there but um, yeah it was moving along the ground and so well camouflaged you wouldn't even think it was a living thing yeah. it's a little grub like thing Yeah, you can see it moving. Yeah. It's amazing the interesting things that you see. Never seen anything like this before. What camouflage. Over in the middle of that shady bit, hole one. And came across a nice sound again, this time a bit louder. Did a little scratch. And it's come up this very rough piece of gold here. Not bad. Oopsie daisy, it's dropped it on the ground. The good thing is when you drop a piece of gold, you've got to detect, you can generally find it again. But I don't want to make a habit of it because it'd be easy to lose a small piece like that in the stones. But yeah, I found it fairly easily. Well, I've just found another noise. This is another possible target here. Not a very loud noise. I'll have a bit of a scratch and see if it's what it is. Try and do it, film it live. I'm sorry it's such a bit juddery. The trick is not to dig too much out because otherwise you'd end up, you know, me either flicking your target out some distance away. Well that's a still on the ground, that's a good sign. Keep digging. See if this has got it out. Rebalance the detector. It's in the discards. Just try and move the camera away a bit. It's on the coil. This is it.
I dropped it. I think it might have been a piece of lead this time. Uh, hopeless. I'll well, I've got to be happy of that. It was actually, I thought it was a lead shot because it was round, but it's the tiniest little piece of gold. So that's um, three of them in a very small area. You beauty. Very happy with that. Well, this is number four piece for this afternoon. Just a, on the surface, just about. And I actually didn't think it was anything but I just persisted to see if I could find the noise and it's turned out to be a very very tiny piece of gold it's so small that it's almost a joke um, I'd almost be embarrassed to turn up the wharf at the weigh-in for this one but yeah I suspect it's probably about 0 0.05 of a gram at the most but nice bright shiny little piece and as I say there's no such thing as bad gold yeah, so it goes to show if you get the slightest sound, you should investigate it. It's a good example. G'day, it's Willow here. I think I'm onto another target here. That's just where I'm waving my coil now. That's where I found another piece there. That was a tenth, tenth piece for the trip, but fourth for this afternoon. So I'm going to have a dig at that and see if we can find it. It's going to be a pretty small piece, I think. Let's just try and move that very gently down. You don't want to sort of have it roll down the hill working on. The idea is to try and scrape off as little bit as possible when you're doing the small bits because it's less than dirt between the gold or the or the target. I think it's still in the um, hole actually. I'll just move that out of the way. I always keep it just in case I have actually taken it out of the hole and I've mis misread it. I'll just stop the movie because it's getting a bit long. See if I can get it more focused. I'm on a long trip home now, about sort of halfway home, um, distance of about 700 kilometres from the gold fields. I um, thought I'd shoot a little video for my international viewers just to show a bit of the Australian countryside um, coming along. Travelling on a major road called the Hume Highway, which is one of Australia's big highways.